Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial to teach you how to use MSI Afterburner to see FPS, CPU, GPU usage, RAM usage, all the stuff that you see in my videos. So this video is not sponsored, first of all. So let's get started. First of all, we go for the downloads, you click here. There's a link for this down in the description. You save this, okay. You open it and you just run it, very simple stuff, next, you accept the agreement, you need this, this is very important, Revit Turner statistics server is crucial for this to work, so yeah, we want the shortcut, blah 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 blah, you need these two softwares because this one will allow you to select what to monitor, for example, the RAM, the CPU, and Repat Turner, which we are installing right now, or RTSS, allows us to see all this stuff in the overlay. So you really need this software, these two softwares working together. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the installation is done. You click now run MSI Afterburner, you just finish. Okay, so first of all, I don't like how the user interface is by default, so we're going to this right here. We click on the arrow, we go to user interface, and we go to default MSI Afterburner B3 skin. We click OK, and this is the usual one, the one that I use. And we're going into the settings, and as you can see, by the get-go, when you launch MSI Afterburner here, you get nothing running for some reason. It should be using Revit Turner right away. But anyway, we go into monitoring. Before going for that, toggle on screen display. So you set a hotkey. I use slash, which in Spanish is Tecla División. We go to monitoring and here you select what you want to have in the overlay. So first of all, we want, we want GPU temperature. I'll just hold control and select the ones that I want. Memory usage, core clock. This is for the GPU, the GPU usage, the memory clock. Not the fan speed, at least not that I want to show right now. The temperature of the CPU, all each of the threads. All right, CPU usage. Then the overall CPU usage right here. So yeah, just select what you want to monitor. Even CPU power, why not? RAM usage, page file usage. And well, if you want to do benchmarks, you have frame rate, frame time. Let's use those as well. Okay, so while holding control, click on show in on-screen display, which sounds really weird. We just do that. And as you can see, on each of the ones that we selected, it says in OST. That means it will show up in the overlay. You click OK. And now, and now there's an app called Revit Turner, which we installed. Here it says some system components cannot be hooked right now. That's all right. We just have to restart the application, which is automatic. And here, as you can see, this program launched itself, Revit Turner. And this is the program that allows this to show up, the overlay. And as you can see, we have here the size, you can change right here. If you want to put a shadow behind it, you can click on display fill. The display shadow is like a stroke around it. As you can see, just uh, an outline, very easy. The stroke effect on Photoshop is the same as this. And here on raster 3D, you can select the font and all that. We keep it like this, just for to show you the how it works. And I'm launching this game just as an example. This is Dying Light Bad Blood. And as you can see here, all that I selected is listed. Very simple, as you can see. I'm launching MSI Afterburner again. If you want to just minimize this, it will still work. But let's see when we just modify something, maybe yellow instead of orange. There you go, now it's yellow. But as you can see, it's very different to the one that I use usually. What I do here is go to these three dots, click on it, and you have to select here between classic, modern, modern mono, and modern web. I usually go for classic, it's very simple, just click apply, and as you can see, it changes in real time. 
so I keep it like that. But you can do many things with this, especially down here with the graphs. I'll show you that right away. One of the things other than showing you that stuff, you can put any of these things as graphs as well, a real-time graph. I do that with the frame time so you can see if the game stutters or not. You click graph and as you can see it will show up with a graph right here the, of the frame time. But if you want both the frame time and um, the frame time and the values at the same time next to the frame rate, put graph below graph it says combo. Click that and as you can see you have the frame time with the graph, the frame rate, the frame time next to it. And that's pretty much what I do to show you my stuff. All that's going on with the PC. I select this one. And as you can see, that's exactly what I show in my videos. But you'll notice that the graph is very long. You can also modify that if you want. You go back here to the three dots. Scroll down. And as you'll see down here, it says width, height, margin and label. If you modify these settings, you can change how tall it is, how long. So let's change the width to minus 15. Just double click on the value, minus 15. You apply the settings. And as you can see now, the frame time graph is significantly shorter. But it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't change as much. It's just shorter, which is what we wanted. And one other thing that you might want to put, maybe here where it says Prolog, it will add something over the first value, which is GPU. Just double click on this, and if you put percentage, GPU, percentage, and apply, it will say which GPU you have right now, which is the GTX 1050 Ti. You can even, you can even show the driver. So just put percentage, driver, with a, capi with a capital D percentage, you apply, and you have the driver 399.24, you can put a separation here in case you want it, just apply, and as you can see it shows up in the overlay, but again you have modern as well, which is different, and you can change the colors here, you can do a ton of things with this, then in a single color, modern web, which you can put a web page, you can see all your all your system specs, all that kind of stuff. You can do whatever you want with this, but I keep it like this, personally. This is what I prefer. And if you want to change the names of CPU1, CPU2, or whatever, maybe you want to put the memory usage, the VRAM, as something different, you just select the option, click override graph name, sorry, override group name, Instead of mem, you can put vram, and this will change the name that you see in the overlay. So I click OK, and it says vram instead of the memory, just there. So yeah, simple as that. That's all you have to do for this to work. If you want to disable it, once again, just click here and disable this option called Show on Show in on screen display, and that'll do the job. Then just minimize this, minimize that and you just go into the game and you have this very easy but yeah that was just a quick tutorial on how to make it work just make sure that you have both msi afterburner and rival tanner statistics server running as well you can even cap the frame rate in this program if you want you can put a bigger overlay as you can see very easy to do you can put a shadow behind it display fill you put something darker in the background you can choose the color of that as well. For some reason you want it blue. There it is. So yeah, 100% customizable, which is very helpful. You can even put the name of your website if you want it. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that has way better sound than the previous one. And it has more explanations. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.